Hello viewers, good evening everyone. I'm here once again to share with you the word of God by authority of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, which is the head of the church. Man shall not live by bread alone, by the word of God is the word that gives us life in this world. Praise the Lord. So, I want to talk about the building your life in Jesus is the topic of my message today. Where do you build your life on? Praise the Lord. Let's see what scripture says about that. I'm going to take you through Matthew 7 verse 24 to 20. 27 I'm going to read let's see what scripture says happy new month to you all so the scripture says here the scripture says here therefore whosoever heareth this saying of mine and dwelleth them I will like him unto a wise man which built his house upon the rock and the rain descended and the flood came and the wind blew praise the lord i stop here first because he's talking about here say that whosoever hear in what that he says his word the second verse is explained to us when you build your house you build your life in christ jesus when you build your life in Christ Jesus, you have nothing to fear in this world. Praise the Lord. Build your life in Christ Jesus because you have the best of you. Praise Master Jesus. Build your life in Christ Jesus. When the wind came, it will not blow. And even when it blows, it cannot take nothing for you. Because you build your life in Jesus. Praise the Lord. He says, When the wind blow and beat up the house, and it fared not, for it was founded upon a rock. Praise the Lord. Build your life in Jesus. You stand upon the rock of Christ. Jesus is the rock. Praise Master Jesus. When the wind came, when the rain descended, it can overflow you because you build your life in Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Scripture says, Roman, if God be for us, who can be against us? No one. When you build your life in Christ Jesus, when the rain descends, it takes nothing for you. Your life will stand. Jesus is not says to us, is this what he said? I will fail, make said tribulation. But we know that be a good share that we overcome as far as he's overcome the world. He that born of God overcome the world. This world, the tribulation of this world, no thing, no how it can escape it. Because if you are good, they will still come after you with that goodness. You bad, though, they will still come after you with that. Satan and the agents. Tribulation of this world. But when you build your life in Christ Jesus, when the wind blow, it will not blow you up. Praise the Lord. Let's go further and see what it says. 26 says, He said, And everyone that heareth this, saying of mine and where I then not shall be likewise unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. 27 we say and the rain descends and the flood came and the wind blew and beat up the house beat up that house and the fed and great was the fed of it. Praise the Lord. When we talk about the wind, talk about the rain, we are talking about the tribulation, the problem of this world. Remember, scripture says, says, John 10, 10, 
The devil came to steal, to destroy. But I came to give you life. And have, and, live, and have it abundance. Satan came to steal for you. Satan is your greatest enemy. Your greatest enemy, your enemy is Satan. Because it's that special thing that is seen on you that is fighting you for. But when you build your home, when you build your life in Christ Jesus, he has nothing to take for you. Praise Master Jesus. And I came with priests, with winds. When that wind blew, the scripture says to us, the same way he came, it's still the same way that he will go. Praise the Lord. Because Satan has no final say. It's Jesus that has final say in your life. Jesus is the final say. Oh, Jesus is the final say. When Jesus say yes, is the final say. Nobody can change it. No one can change it. Jesus is the final say. Oh, Mema is the final say. When Jesus say yes, is the final say. Nobody can change it. No one can change it. Jesus is the final say. When the wind blow, the scripture says the same way it came, or likewise the same way that we go. When you build your home, you build your life in Christ Jesus, you will stand, you be like a wise man. That's what the scripture says. Praise the Lord. And also know that you also inherit eternal life. When you build your life in Christ Jesus. So, I'm going to take you to this scripture and see what the scripture also says to us here. Praise Master Jesus. So, the scripture also says to us here, in Proverbs, Proverbs 6, verse 15, I'm going to take you through. Know that God will lead you to the best part of, of, of your life when you build your heart, your life in Christ Jesus. Best of you will come out. There's something about you that you did not know. There's something about you that Satan is trying to cover up. There's something about you that you are not yet known. That Satan is fighting you for. Is that blessed Satan is fighting you for? Don't mean that Satan loves you. Satan is your enemy. Praise the Lord. When you build your life in Christ Jesus, the best of you will come alive. Remember, I said that we are special image of the Most High God, the royal priesthood. That said the Lord. Holy nation, peculiar people. There are so bad to you. That Satan is fighting you for that is hidden. That is covering your face where you garment that are not yours. For you not to trace it, for you not to even care about it. Praise the Lord. So I will take you through the verse. See what scripture says to us here. He says, Proverbs 6:15. He says, Therefore shall his Therefore, shall his calamity came suddenly, suddenly shall he be broke without remain. He says, suddenly calamity came because when if can come to steal, when if is coming, did not tell you when I'm coming. I'm coming one hour's time, I'm coming two hours' time. The battle of this life did not say when I'm coming, did not knock on the always come suddenly. When you build your home in Christ Jesus, you build your life in Christ Jesus, suddenly the battle of this life came, and also suddenly it shall also go away, fade away. According to this as scripture says, yes, indeed. The same way it came, also likewise the same way that we go. When you build your life in Christ Jesus, you have nothing to fear. God will lead you to the best of you, to the best part of you to come alive. There is no need to fear. God
God is clear like another. He closed like another. It's there for you to help you out. Even this, the midst of that calamity, you will find greatest things. It's the best thing to have in life. That peace. Peace that came from above. Partake, take a reka above Sangadara. When the wind blow, when the center will blow the wind, think that that wind that is going to use to take your life is, is going to use that problem to take your life, to take your soul. But God that close to you, that near like no that, he will give you that peace when you build your life in Christ Jesus. When you build your life in Jesus, you will find that peace. You will overcome all those situations. Say, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Nothing is too hard for you to do. Say, call unto me, all you that labor heavy ladder, that I will give you rest. It's only Jesus will give you rest. It's only through Jesus you can find it. You cannot see it anywhere. Don't be deceived. Praise the Lord. Don't be deceived. It's only Jesus you can you can find it. Say there is no salvation in any other. And it's only through Jesus you can find it, you can see it. And salvation is personal. It's not what someone will do for you. It's what you have to do by yourself. Confess it and receive it and you come into your home. Jesus is knocking on your door, the door of your heart. The door of your heart, Jesus is knocking. It's just for you to accept it, let in him. Let in him, he will help you to mold your life. He will build your life. He will set your feet upon the rock of Christ, that rock of Jesus. You will stand your feet upon that rock of Jesus. Jesus is the rock. He is the rock. When the rain came, when the wind blow, He cannot take your feet out. You will come out to victory. The scripture says, Revelation 12 13, say we overcame by the blood of the Lamb. We overcame by the blood of the Lamb, by the words of our testimony. We overcame by the blood of the Lamb. I can see you, you are overcome. You are overcome. You overcome that challenge, you overcome that situation by the blood of Jesus Christ. Build your life in Christ Jesus. You have nothing to regret in life. Build your life in Christ Jesus. The part of you will come alive. Barata Kabo Zenge Tere Kabo Zenge He said, Suddenly the calamity will come, and suddenly it shall be broken, it shall be broke without remain. The same way that it came, and also the same way that the problem will also go away. Because you stand upon the rock of Christ. Great Sakabo Zengetere Kebozanga Kara. Boto Kotekea. He says that where the secret place of the Most High God bound under the shadow of God Almighty. Behold, with your eyes shall see the reward of the wicked. That situation, the thing that will swallow you up, you will come out in victory. Victory in Christ. Reka Bosakataranda. You overcome by the blood of the land. That name of Jesus Christ. Build your life in the rock of Christ. Build your life in Jesus. The best of you will come alive. No matter the garment the devil has wear you. No matter the garment that the situation of this life that wear you. Almighty God will bring the best out, the best of you out. He will bring the best of you out. 
that will shame your enemy. Build your, build your life in Christ Jesus. You have nothing to fear. God is close as a life and none that is too near in near. Let's see what the scripture says to us in John 15, 1 to 6. Let's see what it says. I go back at Jesu. I go back at Jesu. I go Jesu. I go back at Jesu. I go back at Jesu. I go Jesu. I go back at Jesu. I go back Ono gbo gbago lo ki le wo mi Jesu o fanu ba Ari mu ko he Jesu o I Jesu o lo fun ko E no mo ko re go lo fun le wo Jesus the man of war Ari mu ko he Jesu o Ari mu ko E no mo ko go lo ki le wo I Jesu o fanu ba o Ha ya takabu zingitere ya Let's see what was says to us, the scripture says to us here, yeah? one to six. He said, I am the true vein, and my father is the husband. Man. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he take away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he pray again. It that is mine, it may bring forth more fruit. Praise the Lord. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Praise the Lord. Build it in Jesus by his word. Build it in Jesus. Build it in, build your life in Jesus. I said the Lord built a heart. Build that, build that in vain. In vain. Build your life in Jesus. Build your life in Jesus. He says, He says that I be there in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. I said, I be there in the vein. No more can ye as I said ye are be there in me. If you want to live victorious, you have to build your life in Christ. It's only Jesus can make you, can make the best of you. He's the one that creates you, he's the one that knows you more than the way you do. My rakabo singetere kebo singere. Build your life in Christ Jesus. Jesus is knocking for the door of your heart. Jesus is knocking just for you to accept him. That best of you will come alive. Five says. Verse five says, I am they say I am the fame. You are the branch. He that obedient in me and I in him, the same beareth forth much fruit. The same beareth much fruit. Whatsoever you are looking for, say, seek him first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing shall be added unto you. Build your life in Christ Jesus. You will have it all you want, all that the Lord restores for you in life. You are a zealous, peculiar people, the royal priesthood of the most high God. There are something special about you. That devil is fighting you for to wear you the garment of shame. It's only Jesus can wear you that garment of victory. It's only Jesus can help you to pull that garment out. That's not for him. When you let him come in. When you build your life in that rock of Jesus, the wind of life will not blow you off. The calamity of this world will not take you off. The rain of this world will not flood, will not overflow you. 
Bakateke Bozengata. He says, if you pass through the water, the water will not overflow you. When you pass through the fire, the fire will not burn you. When you build your life in Christ Jesus, all this is your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is your portion in Christ Jesus. He's saying, for without me you can do nothing. Without me you can do nothing. Nothing. Praise the Lord. Because without building your life in Christ Jesus, when the wind blow, just once that blowing, they will just take it off. Because devil is working hard. <laughs> devil is working hard. Don't think that he loves you. Work yourself hard. Salvation is personal. Either you like it or not, the devil will always bring war. Bring back to. It's for you to fight. Build your home in Christ Jesus. Build your life in Christ Jesus. He said you can't do nothing. Invite him. Let him help you by the Spirit of God. By his grace. He said, if man abideth not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and, and is without is, is, is without and men gather them and cast them into the fire and the and they are burned. Why the world will sound like this? Yes. If you did not build your life in Christ Jesus, yes, this world is full of wickedness. It's like it's like, it's like men that gather just to throw you into the into the fire. Yes, you will say fire, yes. Tribulation of this world. You just give yourself to them. When you build your life in Christ Jesus Christ, you will be the one. You overcome by the blood of the land. The wind of this world will not blow you. Praise Master Jesus. Will not blow you off. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus. Okwe yebo se ni megao Okwe yebo se ni megao Oyebo se ni magao Okpo lo ho Iga buwe ki be nure Iga cho ki be suwa ho Oyebo se ni megao Eribo ho Iga buwe ki be nure Iga cho ki be suwa Oyebo se ni megao is it comparable, Father? He's knocking for the door of your heart. He's knocking for the door of your heart. Open that door of your heart to receive him. Open that door of your heart to receive him. Open the door of your heart to receive him. Praise the Lord. So the scripture says here, Luke 22, 31 to 32. I'm going to read. It says, And the Lord said, Samuel, Samuel, Behold, Satan has desire to have you, that he may steal your wait. Satan's his desire is to steal for you. Satan did not love you. Satan give you what he will take. He will take hundreds. Praise the Lord. But I have prayed for thee that your faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen the brethren. Praise Master Jesus. He did not love you. He's fighting hard. He's working hard. Say Satan is rolling around like a roll of lion. That's what the scripture says. He's looking for who to devote, who to destroy, who to steal for. 
but Jesus came to give you life that you will have it abundant. That abundant the Lord restore for you, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive grace to possess it. That abundant life that Jesus has come to give you. What Satan stole for you, you will receive it back this month in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, I have come to give you life abundant. That abundant life that the Lord restore for you, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive grace to possess it. Receive grace to possess it. That abundant life. That abundant blessing. Praise the Lord. Build your life in Jesus. Build your life in Jesus. That abundance that the Lord has restored for you will manifest in your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I can see you coming out in every bondage of life. By the grace of God, receive that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive grace to add of every abundance, every bondage, to add in every bondage, every satanic bondage. Receive that grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The right arm of God is power. The right arm of God is power. Receive that grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Grace to overcome. Grace to be a winner part of life, which is Jesus. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever devil stood for you, receive it back in hundred form in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Say it your shame, in your shame. You shall have double. Receive that double in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, my dear brother and sister, I'm going to leave you here. You can read John 14, verse 27. By yourself, that one speak of peace. He speak of peace. That's what that scripture says. Peace, peace. Speak of peace. Praise the Lord. So, I'm going to leave you here, my dear brother and sister. There is no salvation in any other. And salvation is personal. It's not what anyone can do for you. Praise the Lord. It's what you have to do by yourself, by knowing Him, by knowing Jesus. If you are not giving your life to Christ, say after me, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and personal Savior. I know you come to this set to die for me. For me to have eternal life. Father, wherever I sin against you, I have for forgiveness. Lead me the way of your righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. As you do so, welcome to the family of Christ. He's not here, he's not here over when you have given your life to Christ. Any church you are going is for you to baptize. Baptize and experience the fullness of God. Baptize and live the newness of life. Praise the Lord. Any church you are going, I did not say leave your church or that. God, if you have any church that they can baptize you, it's very important for you to baptize. Praise the Lord. So, may the peace of the Lord be with you. May the grace of the Lord strengthen your heart. Open the door of your heart to receive Jesus. May he strengthen you in Jesus' name. This month you shall be blessed, you shall be lifted. You are marching forward, forward forever, backward never. In this month you will be blessed. Everything concerning you, everything about you this month shall be blessed in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm going to leave you here, my dear brother and sister. May the peace of the Lord be with you all in Jesus' name. Build your life in Christ Jesus and have a, and live a victorious life in Jesus' name. God bless you.